all right hello it is time for side order um i don't know how to get there actually i think train station i bought the dlc i uh i don't i think you get this with the dlc i like how it does the orange and blue uh yeah i, I bought the dlc it apparently includes this if I could get for cheaper to have it not include this. I mean, this is funny, but like for paid DLC, eh. You do get to see Callie and Marie though. So, you know, you'll have to see it, I guess. <laughs> yes, I have played Splatoon before, but you know. Actually, I should play Splatoon 1 before they shut down the servers forever in like a month, huh? It'd be nice to go back to that. When things were more casual, you could pop a bubbler and you can't be too mad because it's imbalanced, you know? Yeah, that this wasn't there before. The show, everyone loves the show. Oh, everyone loves the show. So I don't know if that is the, uh, I don't know if that's the thing. The DLC. No, that's just, that's you. I'm glad he's back. Even if I don't like his new design at all. I don't actually know how to get to the DLC. I kind of was hoping it would be self-explanatory. Um, well, if we go to menu. Um, I might have to look this up. They're like, Alterna is here, but where's the tower? They, they said something evil is going on in Inkopolis Square. Or, or, or whichever one this one is. They said something like that when I bought the DLC and loaded up the game. You don't take me to it. Wow, really? Really? This is this is again from better worse to worse. Worse to worse. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Wow, seriously? Actually, when we were doing big run it was telling me it was a little battery. I shoulda not forgotten that. Shit! I might not be able to get this video up in time then. We'll see. Okay, my controller is like plugged in to a cable across the room. It's kind of annoying. But it'll have to do. I while I was doing that, I tried to Google the location of this. I can't find it. I can't find out where it is. There's an exclamation point here though. So maybe it isn't even there? Maybe it isn't even there. Where would it be? Look, the ink is like What? Nope. Oh, I guess we're taking the train back. That's kinda of funny. There wasn't an animation for this before. Unless well, the idea is I have to go tither and fither. I think the idea is I have to go tither and fither. Why? How do I access this normally then? I don't know, but okay. Normally, like, I feel like the game would be like, oh, and if you want to do side order, go here. <laughs> wow, there's a weird... Is, is that Pearl from Splatoon 2 over there? You should go talk to her. Okay, I mean, it's an unconventional way of doing it, but this is just all a dream. Is that the, uh, the joke? Well, we spent... We didn't... Sp actually, we didn't spend nine minutes. I kept the timer going. Let me just do that. It's been nine minutes since I started the recording, though. Why am I weird boy inkling? This isn't what my Agent 8 looked like. Actually, it probably was something like that. You got the reddish skin. What about a headache? Can I get the ponytail? Yes, please. And then I have these ones. Now, this is Agent 8, not my actual inkling, but... Um... We're just gonna run with that anyway, or my actual octoling. Gotta have the big eyebrows. 
I hate the camel toe shoes. Uh, it's, it's just kind of a weird outfit for, especially for a Nintendo game. Anyway, it's it's Pearl. Look, they're her eyebrows. I like how they're like they're slots in, so they can move. Maybe I should go back to what my agent name looked like, but yeah, whatever. So by, by the way, I've not even gone over anything. This, this is supposed to be a roguelike, so let's just, let's just stick with the look that I like, okay? Not sure how I got this way. What? So you're not like, so is she the robot? Is it amnesia again? I love amnesia. I know it's to introduce you if you haven't played Splatoon 2, but I mean Puyo Tetris 2 did it and it was unnecessary there. I didn't even stream or record Puyo Tetris 2, but I do know that. I just hate amnesia. That's one thing you should know about me, my least favorite literary device, or as I call it, literary crutch is amnesia. Yeah, the redesigns are interesting. I'll maybe get used to them. This is gonna suck with this cable tethered to my controller here. Oh yeah, also, um... Yeah, this is the Splatoon 2 hub. Everyone knew that once they showed it, but... Yeah, this, this is like... Chaos won the last Splatfest. That's kind of the basis of the main game of Splatoon 3. Well... Um, order lost, but they made that the DLC, and this might just be better than the main game anyway. So in the end, I guess order may be won. We'll see. We'll see. Some of the lockers there. At the top of the tower. Well, this should be easy. Look at how not tall it is. Yeah, I don't know if I like the white aesthetic, though. Also, one thing I didn't realize, side order is like, you know, a food pun, right? At least I think it is. The delicious last course. <laughs> but, um, I never really thought about it as, like, this is the side for order. And I never internalized that until earlier today. Which I think is kind of funny. I just always thought of it as like side order is like this is this is DLC. It's the side order to the main game, and that's all. Like it, I just didn't I didn't internalize the pun at all. <laughs> you know, like like an A side or a B side to an album or something. Whatever. Oh, let me. This is embarrassing. There are crumbs on my desk. I'm resting my elbows on the crumbs. It's uncomfortable. What the hell? So I've seen the enemies from the trailers. I saw like, I, I tried to stay as spoiler free as possible. I know there are like, the, the like pallets. I think you can, I think like you do different runs with different weapons based on what I heard from people. Um, there's what? There was like a big octopus. I know that. I saw fan art of like Marina as one of them that looked like a final boss. I don't know if that's actually the final boss or if that's just fan art. I'm just, so I'm like, I'm copiuming like, oh, that's just fan art. Um, I heard that there are annoying enemies and I heard that it's like salmon run single player. That's all I know about this. And that's a roguelike and that people like act a C H T the character. Anyway, let's play the game. So one thing I always forget about dualies is that when you roll, you shoot faster for a little. They released new dualies this season that basically, uh, that basically, uh, you know, work like that. This ink is cool. I still don't know if I really like the color scheme, but I love the shiny, I love shiny ink. Maybe this is a little too shiny though. Is this where all the sparkles in the, uh, in like the spot fests and regular ink have gone. They were saving it for side order or something. I mean, I should pay attention. I know that sound effect. 
I don't know if it's from Splatoon or if it's from just like a stock sound, but I know that wait sound that it made. All right, let's go. What did it say? Oh yeah, enter the elevator. Okay. It's the side order elevator. I know there's an elevator. Look, there's act. Unless I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. How do you not know? <laughs> act is like a famous music person in the Splatoon world. How do you not know? Something about the way Act's skin is rendered looks different from how Inkling's and Octoling's skin is rendered. Am I wrong about that? She looks like she's made of like... Something different. I have no idea. Maybe it's just the color with how they're modeled? I don't know. Also, I don't know Act's score at all, so... The Spire? They're not gonna call it the Spire, like, Slay the Spire? Sorry, I know everyone probably says that, and I probably failed the Screamer Witness test, but... So I recognize that... That was the, uh... Like the... Not the hub music, like, if you're just like... Was this the music for the 8-ball, actually? The 8-ball level in Octo expansion? Which makes sense, because hey, you're Agent 8, and, uh, um, um, um... Uh, uh, yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> Gelatins? Okay. I know what they're called now. Oh, I didn't even notice the... The, like... It's not cast, but the bandages. Don't count that yet. You're good at salmon rod, right? Um, you've been you've, you've, you've been waiting. Ooh, smooth. What? How did you? What? Where did that come from? How did you know to create that? So this is like uh, audio interface, isn't it? Is that the joke? Oh, I guess I have it now. It looks like bubble gum. I don't even like gum. I, I don't know. These are your items. I don't know if they're items or just buffs. I guess they can be both. In Isaac terms, this would be like speed up, tears up, right? I don't know if I get a choice. I like, once again, I'm very thankful I haven't, I don't actually know that much about this, despite being very late. I'm like, what, a week and a half? Maybe two weeks and a half? I don't really know, late. But, um, even if I played a day late, that would be very late, so whatever. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a lame way for Act to not act, right? He looks like so confused there. Why? Yeah, I don't know how long this is gonna take to beat. Obviously this is a roguelike. I don't know if I'm gonna stop once I beat it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works, but I definitely want to beat it on recording first. Ew, those fish have like two frame rate. We need the switch to now. We have to wait a year? Huh, oh, just read. Each four has an objective. Destroy the portal. The portal? Main damage distance? Shots will do more damage from a distance. Good thing I have the dualies. I like Axe's voice. It like kind of enunciates, I think. Whereas Splatoon voices usually don't. Do I just go in here? This is a, this is a weird way of doing it. What do you think of the symbolism behind this is? Some of the toys? Will we see a Nintendo Game Boy? Like, uh... 
Yeah, we, we see it in... Oh, that's cool, the little designs of the thing. I'm gonna have to back up soon, I think. Wait. Hold on. And it's just that easy. Also, I know there are 30 floors. People are... Because people are like... My first 34 clear! My first 30 F clear! I'm like, okay. Also, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... It looks like 48. 48 of those? Not 48, you idiot. So I saw people talking about, like, doing a run using only one ship color. I don't, I don't know if that's a self-imposed challenge or what. I know people saying that there were, like, rewards. Like, you know, maybe it was, like, beating the game with all one color, and it's like, the reward isn't worth it, or there isn't a reward or something. What you're seeing is the next floor. What, home turf floor? And details on the color chip you'll get there. So we'll get poison ink. So, increases the damage enemies take when they're on your ink. That's what Poison Ink does. From 100 to 400, which is pretty crazy. I don't know if, like, the values are randomized. I saw a tweet that was like, this is a, wow, like, wow, this is crazy. And then it was something like 100% to 400%. So, I don't know if that's like, they were like, wow, I got a really good roll on the percentages here. Or what. But, if we go to Palette. Did we not get anything for that last one? I guess we didn't. Common tones, I don't know what that is. We have the reef slider, great, I'm doomed to fail. Let's just do this. I like the little dummy there. I guess so you can see you know, how good your perks are. So it's not always gonna be destroy portals based on context clues. Wait, so we... we have it? Okay, interesting. Maybe you want to spray around the ground? I mean, don't they make ink, though? I don't know. This is weird. Hop off. Okay, you can hop off whenever you want. We should probably take care of the guy. I guess that makes sense. It's poison ink, not like... I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking, like... You, your shots do 400% more damage um, when they're in your ink. That's what I was thinking it was. Why am I not able... What, what the hell was that? Why am I not able to do this properly? Yeah, was that me rolling into the thing? Rolling into the Sonic... What, what, what is it? Conveyor belt. Whoops, shouldn't have done that. Just saved it. Is the buff really worth it? I feel like, in a PvP context... You know, I mean, it's gonna keep recharging, right? Yeah, so might as well use it. Number one rule of Salmon Run, use your specials. This is like, baby easy. I'd rather not have the dualies, though. I guess, you know, it's good to have a shooter. So I guess it's kind of interesting. You get the buff on the floor, and then you keep it if you beat the floor? Is that how it works? Turbo nerd. <laughs> I, I can't believe... I can't believe Nintendo is using Turbo nerd. So usually I use it without space. But then again, Nintendo spells speedrun without... Or with a space, so, you know. Yep, the same school. Yep, definitely not in the Octarian army. They were just in school. Lucky bomb drop. Increases the chance of, of enemies dropping lucky bombs. Lucky bombs explode from the closest enemy to the farthest. I don't really know what that means, but I think they just drop bombs. That hurt the enemies. 
Big damage. Writing. What a weird color. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so, okay, we get it and then go to the floor. I, I, did that animation play before? I probably wasn't paying attention. This says hard. Is this game going to be like hard is the second difficulty of 10? You can't do that. You can't have like hard and then like rank, 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 suicidal or something. Like hard should be hard, not harder than normal. At least name it harder, whatever. Yeah, what is that? Can spell? Oh, yeah. They didn't look like that before. I guess they got redesigned. Alright. There's the... I don't know, whatever. I, we'll, we'll see. Oops. Alright, yeah. That's probably faster, actually. They'll never get me here. I mean, you want to beat the spawners first, right? No, I'm probably letting it get out of hand. Can they not climb walls? Salmon is clear? Once again? So the portals make explosions. I do kind of like that we, where it's like not white versus black, it's pink versus black. Okay, that, that explosion is very valuable. I feel like I'm going to get killed trying to rush for it often though, so maybe I shouldn't do that. And I just got lucky there. Who knows? Wait, is this a rogue light where you get more powerful? I hate rogue lights. So lame. So lame. Oh, whatever. I'll live with it. I can't, I can't say I hate them, right? Like, they are satisfying still. That's a part of the game design. Where you're like, ooh, I got a permanent upgrade. Ooh, feels so good, right? I, I fall for that too. It's just, I prefer more pure, more purest. You die. And you are back with the same, uh, the same circumstances as when, as when you first booted up the game. But whatever. We got two ink save remains from this. Yeah, I'm also been wondering about the currency. Mem bucks, okay, don't like that. It's like V bucks, don't like it. <laughs> Probably Fortnite's fault. Not sure what they're for. That that's what. That's what brought it on, though. I think we buy permanent upgrades with that, probably. I mean, to be fair, this is a Nintendo game. Like, of course they were going to make a roguelite instead of a roguelike. Not saying that roguelites are for kids, okay? But, okay, maybe that is... That's not what I'm saying, but it's definitely better for kids. Probably. I don't know. I mean, kids... When I was a kid, I, I ran my head into a lot of video game based walls until I won, and this seems like something that would also do that. Anyway. Okay. I see spot zones. Oh, the wall's ink proof, just like the main Splatoon 3 game. I didn't mean to say it like the Nintendo Direct guy. Have bad maps in the Splatoon 3 game. So glide. Do we have a glide button? Press B. Okay, good to know. Am I purple now? Oh, yeah. I remember people were also posting like, oh, this is a really good color scheme. So this is based on your, I guess it's based on your palette and you go from white to the combination of colors in your palette and that's why it's a palette. I get it now. I understand. All right, so we, oh yeah. And then I remember people being like, when I was playing uh, the new salmon run map, uh, friends were like, why can't I glide? Why can't I glide? Oh, I, I think these were the things that people were complaining about as well. They're like noiselings. Sorry, what are they called? Fish sticks. I call them noiselings. Thirty-five ticks left. Yeah, I call them noise zones, but I guess these are like this version. These guys' versions. Yeah, this mode's version of noise wings, but they're more annoying because they can move. <laughs> I have more range, please. 
Yay! I wonder if your ink changes color with the palette too. That would be really cool. But it seems like it's just kind of pearl based right now. So can you save in the middle of this? I know we're still in the tutorial, but... Definitely in the tutorial. Drone Killer Whale allows the Pearl Drone to use Killer Whale. Having two or more of this color ship reduces the required points accordingly. Like special points or like, well, no, I have bucks. Those aren't points. It's funny that Pearl is using Killer Whale because that's uh, what she used at the end of Octo Expansion. All right, so then we'll be tutorialed on how to activate Pearl Drone stuff. I don't like the implication that Pearl is the drone, by the way. I figured she would be, like, contacting you through the drone. Will I kill or fail? Because it's not charged? So is it like... It's, they said points, so I think it's like actual special where you ink the floor. There's a drone battery. Okay, I have to internalize what these things are. It looks nice, like, I like the canned special too that I completely forgot existed and, like, didn't even see when I was actually playing. So this is, like, tower control. So I guess you spin it to make it spin? Let's see. Whee! What is this song? Can I climb this wall? I sure can. Do I have to keep spinning it at the checkpoint? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay. It doesn't stop like in the actual Splatoon 3 game. Now I said that, I said that time intentionally. Intentionally that time. Um, okay, I have to get up somehow. Uh, how do I get up? Oh, that only charged it by 50%, which I'm pretty sure they said. Ew, gross! It's hopping around too! Disgusting! Oh, it's a spring! Whee! Okay, okay, so you are... I, I understand. I didn't do that. What is this? Is that the enemies? I don't know. I guess it exploded them away. Now we have to shoot up because it's in the air. This is kind of fun. I like this. It's maybe not going to be so fun on the higher floors. Once again, I don't know how hard this game is. Took uh, my one friend who does a lot of salmon run quite a while, like what two two nights ago. She was like, "Hey, does anyone want to watch me beat side order?" So I don't know if that was just her being busy or it actually taking a while, but we'll see. They don't know each other. Is Act- does Act only- I mean, Act is obviously an Octarian, right? Is she sided with the Octarians and she does the Octarian music in the campaigns, but not in the actual game? I don't know. I, I should have read what she said. It looked like it said, like, elimination or something. Main range. Hey, how glad we take that. So eventually we're gonna have the choice. I'm sure better pallets are going to have harder floors, so you're going to have to decide if the risk is worth the reward, right? Okay, maybe maybe we'll make it to the top of the tutorial for this video. I'm already late anyway. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be late anyway. For, like, uploading this live. Disc piece. Okay, and what's this exactly? The step off song. Is that like a super super? No explanation, even though Act knows what it is, I'm assuming. Alright, let's go. We. Whoa, the range is weird. It kind of. I. It makes the spread kind of ridiculous. Look at how, look at how bad the spread is. 
Okay, let's just see what this is. I didn't even use the killer whale last time. Because I'm like, I'm too good. I don't need to use the tutorial's baby tools. What is this? What is that? I recognize the jingle. Okay, it pauses the portal. Okay, so it's jammed and sends everyone away, I guess. Got it. Good knowledge. What is this thing? Do I have to shoot that to kill it? Oh, I guess there was a grenade in there. So they're kind of like maws. Weird maws. They're like patui plant maws, I guess. That's kind of cool. I love maws. Let's just, let's just keep going. Whoops. Let's keep moving, but let's read still. Thanks for what you choose. There we go. Um... Okay, hard. This gives max lucky chain. Increases the lucky chain maximum. The longer the chain, the more likely enemies are to drop items. I think I could take it. I don't know what that is, and I want to learn what it is. So is our palette changing? Do we get a little more yellow? It's still kind of look purple. World Shell Floor. Once again, I don't really know how to read these names. Are these enemy names or what? Oh no, we see we have a little green on the tips, but no more purple? Okay, I understand the concept of chaining. Got it. So what are what items? Maybe like batteries and stuff. Oh, that's weird that like that. Octoform. Try touching it? Okay. Yay! So I'm destroying portals, I guess. Let's see if we can get a chain going here. What is that guy? He's spinning? What the hell is happening? It's kind of a lot of guys, but, you know, I guess I'm supposed to be using this, right? Okay, so they're they are dropping items, like the ones from the tutorial. Got it. Are there guys behind me? I think, maybe? No? Okay, hold on. Let's clear this out. A little, right? Get away. I, I don't like the look of that guy. Okay, I can see how the roll would be valuable. Okay, they just spawned a bunch of big guys, basically incentivizing you to use that. Oh, look at that, we're done. Okay, cool. Yippee! Oh, that's such a gross kind of palette, though. <laughs> this... I look like I'm diseased. Like, ugh. Find a quiet spot together? They're just good friends. No one knows you like the folks you grow up with. I, I, that was, no one knows you when you grow up. I was like, hold on. So true. Easy or normal? Main ink coverage allows the ink more turf. Yeah. I only ever think about this when I'm reading patch notes. <laughs> Whenever I'm playing the game, which I guess I don't play the main game at all based on my level 12 you saw earlier. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it also happens in Salmon Run, but it's not as important there. Causes a dodge all the to deal damage. <gasps> Grisco Dooleys! Rush attack color chip. I mean, this syn synergizes better with my poison. But I gotta say... Now, let's... let's Harder probably isn't always better. How many people do you think play it based entirely off of like, oh, this color will make my Agent 8 look better? <laughs> people do that in Monster Hunter with armor. I can't fathom it. What the heck? Are those like unicycle fish? Whoops. Oh, look at her. Like, is it just the palette we got for this floor? That's that's just it. I wish it mixed, but whatever. I'll take it. Well, see, my ink isn't pink anymore, though. 
Interesting. Okay, so that... I was like, why is he going slow? Oh no, okay, well, hold on. Are they gonna go... On a track? Trying the ground around where they're chilling. So they get slowed in ink, makes sense. These guys are just like the annoying guys that drop bombs from uh, the story mode. The Octarians, you know those guys. I'm so excited to get to the harder floors where I have to deal with a bunch of guys and those guys. I have to kill those guys while I'm being chased by a million dudes. Well, that just shows you your stats. Makes sense to me. Tones? Is this just like color, color coordination or is it like if I get a yellow power chip that's different? Okay. But I don't want to do this. Was, is this from the last one? I figured it would randomize every time. Well, I mean, this is the tutorial, so I guess it's like... This is gonna teach you about roll damage or something. This is a, definitely a pre-generated floor. Hey, look, it's the, it's the eight balls from uh, Octo Expansion. <laughs> How's Act know about them? Afraid so? You have to get the eight balls to the goal. Oh, that's a funny objective for a roguelike. So these are infinity balls, not eight balls. Were they infinity balls in Octo Expansion too? They won't fall off the stage? Are they tethered to the ground? Alright, let's move. Okay. Well, even if you hold back, it makes it go faster. Interesting. Alright. Whee! Oh, they, they also get spikes on them. So if I do this, whee! What is that sound? I guess that's just the portal. Oh, well. Cool. That works. So we put this here. So is it just that the balls never leave the stage, or can they fall off and then, like... Like, come back. The railings aren't that big. Maybe they have invisible walls in case you happen to pop it up. Because that thing definitely left... They definitely left the ground when they sailed across the entire stage. Oh, we're at the end already. <laughs> the control room. Go there. You don't even get a pallet for this one. I'm assuming control room is just code for boss floor. Oh no, I think that's the thing I saw fan art of. The thing. Okay, well, I'm glad this is the end of the tutorial. She's vibing. This is like uh, E101 beta, right? Yeah, I saw this before with Callie, remember? Ew, gross. Ew, gross. I don't like this. Makes it look like this thing is her body now, which I don't like. All right, so what are we doing now? Marina Agentano? I'm assuming I have to break this thing. To break the barrier? I didn't even know there was a barrier. I just saw these and I'm like, surely these are what you have to break. Now don't forget your specials and stuff. Case in point. Okay, we're being shot at. Eee. Oops. It does damage. No. Smoke them if you got them, right? I played Deep Rock. Even though that's like an actual expression, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this guy's annoying, I see. <laughs> so I can't even like hear the music. Because yeah, like... The sound effects. I'm like, has there been music? No! 
Can we have armor still? What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Are you using the killer whale? I guess she's using it. I just keep going. The music's getting more intense. Ow. Did we do it? Or was that phase one? I mean, this is a tutorial, so whatever. Nice game controller headset. Is this a reference to something? Oh no, she's she's free. Okay. I was like, maybe she's going to be the actual final boss later, but why is her mouth just opening with one frame like that? She's so scared. Oh, adorable. Dissidents. All things will be converted to memory, not me. Because my memory is really bad. Oh, off we go. Oh, you look, and then there's the title drop. <laughs> the tower is getting bigger. It's going to be 30 floors now. There's no way the original tower was 10 floors. This kind of reminds me of World of Goo, not just because of like the Splatoon ink aesthetic. It's like that, the way that building is shaped specifically. Uh, it's probably that plus, you know, being in the depressing gray world, plus the black from the World of Goo Googlings. What am I saying? Oh, look, your pearls is normal, I guess. Marina, I need you to have a more animated mouth, please. It's freaking me out. Nice jacket. What is the... What's she wearing under it? Ew, so gaudy. Is this also a remix? It sounds familiar. It is. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's a nice background. They're good friends. I, okay, I thought I was gonna say something else. Like the mem cakes? Virtual reality? Um, okay. Ordered, very direct name for it. Oh no, it's <laughs> Sword Art Online, okay. So now we're in the real world, but we gotta go in to free everyone else. I was listening to that. A colorless world of order. Oh no, what are these things? Is it, is it like, I want to exit the the computer world? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm asking. Yeah. Oh, so the, <laughs> they're the drawings again. So what you're saying is their minds are in the VR. Their bodies are still outside of the VR. Like Sword Art Online. And, um, it will make them slaves in the real world because their minds are still connected. Got it! I like... This is a funny, like... The idea is that everyone who bought the DLC is people who are getting pulled in, right? That's a funny, like, meta joke, I think. Oh, 
I like how eight is just straight faced. Still, Agent Eight is so funny. Now I'm curious if Agent Four is actually real in here. I've seen Agent Four with a mask. I don't know if that's real or if that's just like what people are. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why did Pearl choose this form unconsciously when entering this place, though? I'm wondering. Alright, so... The game starts now, but for now I'm gonna get this video uploaded and go to bed. But then I will return! And we will actually do our first real run! I wasn't expecting a tutorial, but I guess I should've. Because it's a Nintendo. Yeah, I feel like my mind was... You know, not orderly at all during this entire thing. Like, how am I supposed to finish a thought when I see this thing? I'm gonna look at it walk around with its legs. Does it have, like, little high heels? That's weird. It's weird. But not as weird as my camel toe shoes. Okay, I, I, let me get this up. 